हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू इन द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ वाइवा क्वेश्चंस ऑन एनालॉग कम्युनिकेशन प्रैक्टिकल इन दिस पार्ट वी फोकस ऑन सो इन दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉडुलेशन प्रैक्टिकल द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन मे बी आस्क बाय द एग्जामिनर इट इज वाई फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉडुलेशन इज बेटर दैन एम्पलीट्यूड मॉडुलेशन और द सिंपल मीनिंग ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट what is the difference between frequency modulation and amplitude modulation so the answer is frequency modulation gives a better quality of transmission because it has larger bandwidth and is relatively immune to noise the transmission of information of fm signal is in the form of frequency variations and therefore the atmospheric noise causes little harm to it on the frequency modulation practical is what is the frequency modulation this is very basic question and most probably it is asked by the external examiner in your frequency modulation practical so the definition of the frequency modulation is the encoding of information in a carrier wave by changing the instantaneous frequency of the wave next question what is the application of fm so the frequency modulation is widely used for fm radio broadcasting it is also used in telemetry radar seismic prospecting and monitoring newborn for seizures via eeg two way radio systems sound synthesis magnetic tape recording systems and some video transmission systems so these are the applications of frequency mod frequency modulation the next question on frequency modulation is what is pll so the pll means what a pll is phase lock loop is an electronic circuit with a voltage or voltage driven oscillator that constantly adjust to match the frequency of an input signal and very important pll are used to generate stabilize modulate demodulate a filter or recover a signal from a noisy communication channel where data has been interrupted and that's why pll is used in your frequency modulation practical furthermore what is fm demodulation the next question is what is fm demodulation so fm demodulation is a key process in the reception of a frequency modulated signal once the signal has been received filtered and amplified it is necessary to recover the original modulation from the carrier it is this process that is called demodulation or detection next question may be asked by the examiner for your frequency modulation practical is define frequency deviation in frequency modulation so frequency deviation in fm is defined as the way to describe the difference between the minimum and maximum extent of a frequency modulated signal and the carrier frequency so this is the answer or this is the definition of frequency deviation in fm the difference between narrow band and wide band fm so i think these are the four or five differences between narrow band and wide band but in oral examination or in your viva book practical examination you can answer two or three points or differences between narrow band and wide band fm so the first difference is modulation index is less than 1 in narrow band fm but the modulation index is greater than 1 in wide band fm frequency deviation is equal to 5 kilohertz in narrow band fm and the frequency deviation is equal to 75 kilohertz in wide band fm modulating frequency is equal to 3 kilohertz in narrow band fm and modulating frequency range from 30 hertz to 15 kilohertz in wide band fm bandwidth is twice fm in narrow band fm bandwidth is 15 times narrow band fm in wide band fm that is bandwidth equal to 2 delta plus f max plus twice delta plus f max and in narrow band fm maximum modulation index is slightly greater than 1 and maximum modulation index 
between 5 to 25 in wideband FM. So these are the differences between narrowband and wideband FM. You can learn or you can uh, tell the examiner only two or three points. The next question is what are the advantages of FM over AM? So this is very important question regarding your frequency modulation practical. So the main advantage of FM over AM are the first improved signal to noise ratio about 25 dB with respect to man-made interference. Next point is small geographical interference between neighboring stations, less radiated power and well-defined services areas for given transmitter power. So these are the advantages of FM over AM. What are the disadvantages of FM over AM? So the disadvantages are the answer is FM systems have a much wider bandwidth than AM system and therefore more prone to selective fading. And the other disadvantages are more complicated receiver and transmitter. The antenna for FM system should be kept close for better communication. So these are the advantages, uh, these are the disadvantages of FM over AM. The final question that may be asked by the external examiner regarding digital modulation. We are giving the answer on analog modulation that is frequency modulation is one of the type of the analog modulation but the examiner may be asked some critical questions or tricky question that is mention the types of digital modulation. So there are three types of digital modulation and they are amplitude shift king that is ASK, frequency shift king that is FSK and phase shift king that is I think the frequency modulation practical covers almost all the possible questions that may be asked by the external examiner in your practical examination. So thank you, thank you very much and please subscribe my channel and all the best for your examination.